Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're going over the Inadem, which is the longest weapon, melee weapon in Warframe, which is obviously also the longest dagger in Warframe. This weapon, when in incarnate form, gains an extra 3 meters of length to its attack. Meaning, the fact that I have 5.3 range with my current build, oh, that'll pump it up to 8.3 range, and there's a little uh, little neat trick with this attack where it gains 0.5 meters of range with aerial attacks if you set up your Incarnan set properly. But before that, a word from this video's sponsor. Have you wanted to play a game with PvP, PvE, and over 600 unique champions? Then Raid might be for you. Use my QR code or links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. Since you already know Raid Shadow Legends has over 600 champions in a game, let's take a look at one of the cooler bosses, Hellraiser the Dragon at Dragon's Lair. This dragon has really got two main attacks. First off, has a breath attack, takes one turn, gets purple health on its health bar and it charges up a breath attack. Stuns everyone, does a ton of damage. Also, he lets out a lot of debuffs and poison, so might be helpful to have heavy hitters, shields, and you know what, maybe poison the boss itself. And this month, Raid's got non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including Forge Pass Season 3 with some amazing rewards on offer, including a limited time edition artifact set. If that's not enough, Raid's bringing out some new champions, along with some awesome looking champion skins for the incredible Madame Ceres. But wait, here's the big news. Later this month, Month, Raid has given everybody's favorite champion the upgrade he deserves. You might have seen his struggle for awesomeness in some of Raid's hilarious videos, but finally, Death Knight is becoming a legendary champion. It's something we've all been waiting for, and you know what? I can't wait to see how Ultimate Death Knight turns out. Probably gonna be amazing. So, there's never been a better time to get started. New players, use my link or scan the QR code right now and get a free starter pack with almost $30, a free champion Tyrell, and this cool in-game loot. You will find these rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Catch me in-game under the in-game name Pupsker if you want to. Cheers. So everyone, this will be the general one form of build I am going to be using for the Inadim. Of course, you could always do stronger, weaker builds on the weapon, take out the sacrificial pressure to throw in viral on your status, but hey, I'm not taking the build too seriously. You can pretty much build the same on any melee weapon if you truly want to at the end of the day, but this is what I'm running for now, right? Have some good enough crit chance, good enough status, have some toxin, more beautiful. Attack speed right there, and I have a primed reach for more range, okay? Because I want this weapon hitting as far as possible. And if it doesn't hit 8 meters, then you know, what am I even doing, okay? What am I even doing? If I wanted to fully max out this weapon, yeah, I would throw on Viral. And if I wanted to do a full combo build, it would obviously have Blood Rush, wherever, yeah, maybe Body Count, wherever I have Weeping Wounds, right? That's the, is that the other one these days? Yeah. So, hey, you can do that as well if you want. Let's take a look over at ya boy Cavalero to see what the Incarnate weapon actually can upgrade into. So Evolution 1 on Incarnate weapons always unlocks the Incarnate weapon, and that does 5x combo, use your heavy attack, and it goes into Incarnate form for, I believe, 90 seconds. On the very first one, I have increased range by 0.5. Of course, if you want better DPS, you'd throw on increased attack speed with Bladed Harmony, but no, 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 we are here for the range, okay? And then you can also always throw on sprint speed if that's your thing, sure, whatever. The next one, you can throw on gain five combo for every 10 meters of continuous slide, not my thing, but whatever, increase range of aerial melee attacks by 0.5 meters, Oh boy, Incarnate Mode hitting 8.7, no, 8.8 .8 meters in range now. Beautiful, beautiful. And you could also have Finisher Damage Increase, but naturally, I want that range in Aerial Attacks. So for Evolution 4, I have on at the moment, reach 3 times combo to Heavy Attack, Activate Incarnate Form. You could throw on on Airborne Melee Kill, increase melee damage by 50%, uh, 10 seconds, stacks up to three times, right? That'll be your overall damage increase if you want that, which, you know, realistically, I should take it. I'm just lazy, so I'm uh, throwing on Incarnate Imago, okay? And then you have on Finisher, 20 combo on Finisher, which I would say, yeah, waste. 
Last but not least, you have this. On finisher, plus 40% heavy attack efficiency for 40 seconds. Only really throw that on if you're using heavy attack on finisher. Stun aware enemies in 10 meters radius. Yeah, you can use that if you're doing survivals, but yeah, it's not really necessary. Lastly, collect ammo grants five melee combo counter. Realistically, the last form, it just isn't too strong. So I have on finisher in case I feel like doing a heavy attack build or throwing down heavy attacks. But the last evolution I don't care too much about. It would be a good weapon naturally to throw on your combo builds if you want to do that, but I never throw on combo builds. So let's take a look, run into an Angels of the Zeremin mission to use the Inadem and actually see how it functions. I should be in solo, good, good, just to make this a little easier. And I'm just gonna throw on the Exterminate because yeah, why wouldn't I? All in all, I do love this weapon though, especially because of its stupid long range. Like already this little dagger, right? 5.3 meter radius, which is already crazy. Like an attack uh, range of that. Like look at this, the attack range on it, so far, I'm just mowing through enemies like they're nothing. So really not having any issues there. And of course, they just die like they're uh, <laughs> little fodder enemies. Oh no, I shouldn't heavy attack. So as long as you build a strong enough combo, you will, oh no, be able to activate the weapons in Karnin form, which usually is easier to activate, to be fair, in a survival mission. So this isn't the most optimal mission to run it in, okay? To be frank, but that's okay. It is what it is. Oh, it looks like they're over here. I need to actually get into a room where there's a lot of enemies, so... Yeah, let me go try and find one. Here's a life hack. You can just increase your combo off of Void Angel. And then activate Incarnate Form just like that. So now you can see that's the Incarnate Form of the weapon. I just one-tapped it when it went into Incarnate Form. And the Angel died pretty much instantly. Now this thing has a crazy 8 meter attack range. Like, look at that. That is not fair. It just seems like... You're ethereally murdering enemies out of nowhere. But no, it's a, it's your melee attack. I just thought I'd throw on Nija because Nija's strong overall. Good Warframe to showcase just not dying. You can just one-shot everything with heavy attacks. You know, you get that heavy attack efficiency. I'm not using a combo build, remember, so I don't really care to keep my combo up too much. As long as I can just one-tap a Thrax with a combo build. Or, sorry, with a heavy attack. Yeah, I'll take that trade-off. As you can see, everything's just dying in front of me. That's usually how that goes with a 8 meter attack range. So just everything in front of me just dies. I just want to get... Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, how far is 8 meters truly? And you know what? It's still pretty far. And then I get even more range if I uh, auto attack in the air like that. Whew. Sheesh. Look at that. It's just, uh, it's just, it should be illegal, you know, should be illegal, but it's not. Therefore, yeah, we, we kill them like that. Oh no, he's not dead. <laughs> Very unfortunate. But that's the generals of the Inadem, right? It's an insanely long reach uh, melee dagger, and right now, I would pretty much recommend it for anyone who has Angels of the Zeremin unlocked, like, at all. Did it go back to regular mode? Yeah, it did because it's just such a stupidly strong uh, melee if you like having attack range. It just clears rooms. I would say it's the new meta for just AoE melees, if you will, right? Because it has an inherent three meters gained, which is already crazy, right? And then uh, it has a base like 1.8, I think, when you don't have the range upgraded. So 1.8, add an extra 3 onto that, add another 3 onto that, and then add 0.5 onto that if you choose to instead of attack speed. And you can just see already, like, my god, this thing is crazy. It doesn't need the extra 0.5 attack range because of... Oh no, I didn't, didn't have my buffs on, my bad. Because of that uh, amazing, amazing range, but oh well. It's just such a good weapon, and I would recommend you use it if you like long-range melees. Of course, you don't have to. No matter what build you choose on it, 
a full combo build, uh, just basic base attack build, crit damage status uh, combo build. Do whatever you want to do, right? It'll be strong as long as you build it somewhat well. Like, I'm just building mine casually as always, and they do all of the damage. Oh, is it in a dim mode or in Karnan form? Oh, I'm not too sure. What is it? Oh no, it's just still in a, in a dim f normal base form. Let me try and get some combo here. And yeah, the attack speed uh, without the like aerial range or without the extra 0.5 range is naturally still preferred if you're going for straight DPS. But I just like having that extra 0.5 range because unless you're doing a higher level Warframe or Steel Path Warframe, you don't necessarily need to min-max your damage too hard. As long as you have like decent status, decent damage, you should usually be okay. At least I find, you know? But it's up to you as always. Do whatever you want to do. The weapon's strong, right? And that is all for today's video. So I appreciate y'all joining me for a little Inadem showcase. You know, ju uh, judge my build as always, as they're always basic builds and people yell in the comments. So it's always fun to watch, right? So thank you. I appreciate it. Join, follow the YouTube and Twitch where I'm streaming and playing whatever games I feel like along with Warframe as always. So thank you and I will see you next time. Peace.